Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Katie again. I'm at my house outside and um, all around me I can hear buzzing and whirring of creatures that have six legs and some of them have wings and they have three body parts. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Insects, that's right. And our story this week is about an insect that likes to buzz around like these bumblebees are buzzing around out here. Um, it kind of goes in, uh, in your ear, kind of close to you. And uh, he gets on you and he likes to drink your blood and it makes your skin itch. Does anybody know what insect that is? If you said a mosquito, you are right. Our story today is called Why Mosquitoes buzz in people's ears and it's got a wonderful Caldecott award on it that means that the pictures are really great and you can see that insect right there right next to his ear and he's probably buzzing so this story is a tale that's made up to explain why mosquitoes buzz in people's ears pictures are by Leo and Diane Dillon but the words are written by Verna Ardema One morning, a mosquito saw an iguana drinking at a water hole. The mosquito said, Iguana, you will never believe what I saw yesterday. Try me, said the iguana. The mosquito said, I saw a farmer digging yams that were almost as big as I am. What's a mosquito compared to a yam? snapped the iguana grumpily. I would rather be deaf then listen to such nonsense. And then he stuck two sticks in his ears and went off, meck, 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 through the reeds. You see the mosquito talking to him? And then he put the sticks in his ears and walked off. Now, do you know what a yam is? A yam is like a sweet potato that grows in the ground. The iguana was still grumbling to himself when he happened to pass a python. The big snake raised his head and said, Good morning, iguana. The iguana did not answer, but lumbered on, bobbing his head, ba dim ba dim Now, why won't he speak to me? said the python to himself. Iguana must be angry about something. I'm afraid he is plotting some mischief against me. He began looking for somewhere to hide. The first likely place he found was a rabbit hole. In it he went, wasu, wasu, wasu. When the rabbit saw the big snake coming into her burrow, she was terrified. She scurried out through the back way and bounced, crick, 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 across the clearing. I think I would run if I saw a python coming in too. A crow saw the rabbit running for her life, and he flew into the forest crying, caw, caw, caw. It was his duty to spread the alarm in case of danger. The monkey heard the crow. He was sure that some dangerous beast was prowling near, and he began to screech and leaping through, killy through the trees to warn the other animals. As the monkey was crashing through the treetops, he happened to land on a dead limb, and it broke on an owl's nest, killing one of the owlets. You see the baby owl? Mother owl was not at home. For though she usually hunted only in the night, this morning she was still out searching for one more tidbit to satisfy her hungry babies. When she returned to the nest, she found one of them dead. Her other children told her that the monkey had killed it. All that day and all that night, she sat in her tree. So sad, so sad, so sad. Now it was Mother Owl who woke the sun each day, so that the dawn could come. But this time, 
When she should have hooted for the sun, she did not do it. The night grew longer and longer. The animals of the forest knew it was lasting much too long. They feared that the sun would never come back. Here are the animals waiting. At last, King Lion called a meeting of the animals. They came and sat down, pem, 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 around a council fire. Mother Owl did not come, so the antelope was sent to fetch her. When she arrived, King Lion said, Mother Owl, why have you not called the sun? The night has lasted long, 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 and everyone is worried. Mother Owl said, Monkey killed one of my owlets, and because of that, I cannot bear to wake the sun. The king said to the gathered animals, Did you hear? It was Monkey who killed the owlet, and now Mother Owl won't wake the sun so that the day can come. So you see the animals in the council right here talking, and then Mother Owl is telling what she thinks so in her head this is what she thinks happened to the monkey or that the monkey did to her owl so they've sent for the monkey then king lion came, called the monkey he came before him nervously glancing from side rim 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 monkey said the king why did you kill one of mother owl's babies oh king oh it was the uh, crow's fault. He was calling and calling to warn us of danger, and I went leaping through the trees to help. A limb broke under me, and it fell ta on the owl's nest. The king said to the council, So it was the crow who alarmed the monkey who killed the owlet, and now Mother Owl won't wake the sun so the day can come. Then the king called for the crow. That big bird came flapping up, and he said, King Lion, it was the rabbit's fault. I saw her running for her life in the daytime. Wasn't that reason enough to spread an alarm? And the king nodded his head and said to the council, So it was the rabbit who startled the crow, who alarmed the monkey, who killed the owlet, and now Mother Owl won't wake the sun so that the day can come. Who do you think they're going to call next? The king lion called the rabbit. The timid little creature stood before him, one trembling paw drawn up in uncertainty. Rabbit, cried the king, why did you break a law of nature and go running, 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 running in the daytime? king said the rabbit it was the python's fault i was in my house minding my own business when that big snake came in and chased me out the king said to the council so it was the python who scared the rabbit who startled the crow who alarmed the monkey who killed the owlet and now mother owl won't wake the sun so that the day can come King Lion called the python, who came slithering, wassle, wassle, past the other animals. But King, he cried, it was the iguana's fault. He wouldn't speak to me, and I thought he was plotting some mischief against me. When I crawled into Rabbit's hole, I was only trying to hide. The king said to the council, so it was the iguana who frightened the python, who scared the rabbit, who startled the crow, who alarmed the monkey, who killed the owlet, and now Mother Owl won't wake the sun so the day can come. Now the iguana was not at the meeting, for he had not heard the summons. The antelope was sent to fetch him. All the animals laughed when they saw the iguana coming, but him, but him, with sticks still stuck in his ears. 
King Lion pulled out the sticks prum, prum, and then asked, Iguana, what evil have you been plotting against the python? Uh, none, none, cried Iguana. Python is my friend. Then why wouldn't you say good morning to me, said the snake. I didn't hear you or even see you, said Iguana. Mosquito told me such a lie, I couldn't bear to listen to it. So I put sticks in my ears. <laughs> Laughed the lion. So that's why you had sticks in your ears. Yes, said Iguana, it was the mosquito's fault. King Lion said to the council. So it was the mosquito who annoyed the Iguana who frightened the python, who scared the rabbit, who startled the crow, who alarmed the monkey, who killed the owlet, and now Mother Owl won't wake the sun so that the day can come. You see the mosquito over there? Punish the mosquito! Punish the mosquito! cried all the animals. And when Mother Owl heard that, she was satisfied. She turned her head toward the east and hooted, Hoo! 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 And the sun came up. Meanwhile, the mosquito had listened to it all from a nearby bush. She crept under a curly leaf, Sam! and was never found and brought before the council. But because of this, the mosquito has a guilty conscience, and to this day, she goes about whining in people's ears, is everyone still angry at me? And when she does that, she gets an honest answer. There she is. What kind of answer do you think she gets? <laughs> Do you think that's why mosquitoes buzz in people's ears? Do you think the mosquito still has a guilty conscience? This is a tale made up to explain why a mosquito might come near you and you hear that zzz sound. Maybe you enjoyed this book today. Boys and girls, I know you're working in your books. Don't forget, you're going to draw Mother Owl and the mosquito. And uh, we looked at that. Let's look real close. Look at that mosquito. See, he's got his six legs and his wings. He's kind of got a long nose that he uses kind of like his mouth to help. And Mother Owl, let me find a good picture of Mother Owl for you to look at really close. Do you remember what Mother Owl's job was? Uh-huh. Her job was to wake the sun. And why did she not wake the sun? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. That's because one of the, um, the monkey came by and got her. there's Mother Owl when she's hugging on her baby. So her job was to wake the sun and uh, she didn't because of that. And look at the sun. The sun looks sad, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And then um, when they had the council, do you remember what the animals all did? Yeah, they all gathered around the council. Mm -hmm. And when they saw Iguana, do you remember what they did for Iguana? Yeah, all the animals laughed at him. Who took the sticks out of his ears, do you remember? Yep, King Lion. He took the sticks out of his ears, and they laughed because they didn't know why he put them in there. And he explained, do you remember why he put the sticks in his ears? Yeah, you're right, because the mosquito had told him such a lie and such a tale about him, the yam, being bigger than he was. So I hope you enjoyed our story today. I hope you can work in your book a little bit and know a little bit more about the story of why mosquitoes buzz in people's ears. I'll see you again real soon, guys. Stay away from mosquitoes.